Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. Who's a celebrity no one can hate? Rick Moranis. I mean, the guy literally gave up his acting career to be a full-time stay-at-home dad when his wife died. Didn't someone just beat him up a few years ago? Pretty sure Rick Moranis also publicly forgave the dude under the assumption that there was clearly no motive and probably a sick person. So even more to the point that he's just a genuinely great dude. Yeah, some homeless guy in NYC. But, he was probably mentally ill. I don't know if you can use that to claim he hated the guy. I've never heard negative shit about Tony Hawk. Only thing bad I can say about Tony Hawk is his part in Haggard was way too short. Mr. Rogers smiling face with hearts. I wouldn't even be friends with anyone that hated Mr. Rogers. I love Mr. Rogers smiley face. In a really old Reddit post about, what's the worst insult you've ever heard, someone's post was. Essentially, you're not being the person Mr. Rogers knew you could be. Quote, if I ever gave someone a reason to say that to me, I'd have to go home and sit for a while and evaluate my life choices. Anyone in Pittsburgh will beat your ass for saying something negative about Fred Rogers. Even the nuns. I'm a cynic and for a long time I thought there had to be something bad there but at this point if he had so much as hugged someone in a slightly creepy way we would have heard about it I think he might have just been a really incredibly nice guy. I met him in person. My mother used to work at Idwild Park and he would come there often to oversee the production of The Mr. Rogers Neighborhood Ride. When he would talk to you, you felt like you were the only person in the room and he was so fascinated by every single word. You said, not in a creepy way. This guy heard the people around him and cared. He was a gem. Segregationists hated him. And in the episode where he invites the black mailman to sit in his pool, feet in a kid's wading pool, southern TV stations refused to air it. Good example of, if they're mad at you, you're doing something right. Dolly Parton. My uncle did some contracting work for her ages ago and got connected with that job through someone she knew. Years later when I was a kid at Dollywood, she walked right up to him and thanked him for the work he did and had like a long conversation with him. My mind was blown that she remembered him like 10 years later and was so nice and inviting. I was like 8 or 9 at the time and when she spoke to me directly, I nearly peed myself and was so nervous I couldn't muster up anything but a meek hi. I actually live close to Dollywood and Pigeon Forge area. Never heard a bad thing about her so far. My name is Jolene and I am honored to have slight connection to her. Did you steal her man? She really is an amazing woman. A lot of people don't know about her imagination library project. And it's a good one to look into if you have small children. Essentially she wanted to combat high youth illiteracy numbers in her area. So she founded that program. It provides a no strings attached, free, age appropriate book every month from birth to five years old. We are signed up for our youngest son. And he loves getting his new book in the mail each month. Edit to add, I forgot to mention that she was inspired to create it because her dad was illiterate. And she felt it had kept him from being able to do some things he wanted to do. Fun fact, since it was created, they have given out over 172 million books. I just found out today that the reason she's so interested in literacy is because her dad couldn't read. Our 2.5 Y, oh get so excited for, Grana Dolly book. The woman is a treasure. Maggie Smith, the answer I didn't know I was looking for. Even though I hardly know anything about her, I feel strangely confident that she is a wonderfully amazing and interesting individual. Just thinking about her makes me smile. Alan Rickman, he made in a hole like Snape somewhat likable. But honestly, never heard anyone say anything bad about him. But I am young, in relative terms, to his career. As convincing as he could be playing bad guys, he seemed like he was a very nice guy off screen. Bad guys? What about Marvin the depressed robot? The Metatron? Betty White. The racists hated her for inviting a black man to her show. She defended the man and invited him on the show even more. It was cancelled shortly after. So yeah, people can hate her. But if those types of people hate you, you know you're doing something right. Funny part is that her response to that is, I'm sorry, deal with it. Bob Ross. Literally never heard anyone hate him before. It's funny to me that he was a drill sergeant before he was painting. He hated yelling at people, that's why he had a soft tone after leaving the military. Sir David Attenborough. My dad hates him because he made a bet with me that I wouldn't know the name of the guy narrating the show we were watching. Easy $50. Easy money. Deeper cut fact, although not that deep, is that his brother Richard Attenborough is the old dude. Park owner. In the original Jurassic Park. Christopher Lee. Fought in World War II, played Dracula, a wizard, a Sith Lord, and many other roles. He also was in a metal band. He did some crazy secretive stuff in WWII. There's shit he never talked about. Interviewer. What did you do in the war? 
Lee, can you keep a secret? Interviewer, yes. Lee, so can I. Weird Al Yankovic edit. No H. I cannot wait for the Roku movie about him with Daniel Radcliffe. That's the weirdest crossover I have ever heard but I guess I'm here for it. Isn't there like a two foot height difference between them? Cheeky smiley face. What about that guy on Twitter who thinks Weird Al has been pregnant for, decades? And hides his baby bump with his accordion? I looked at this comment and said enhance. If you are serious I need to know more.